Hello, what, we just, what you are seeing demonstrated here is the MM5451 serial shift register being used with an Arduino Nano. Here is the Arduino Nano down on this little board. Of course, this is a seven segment LED display. And this is the MM5451. Um, it has two input pins, which are coming from Arduino here. These are just power supply over to the Nano. But with two input pins, I can have 35 open collector outputs, or open drain outputs, however it's constructed internally. Let's zoom in just a little bit closer so we can see the display. course you see it counting from 0 to 9 and you're seeing an 8-bit binary count on the 8 LEDs to the right. I could actually hook up another 19 LEDs. I could hook up as many as, I don't know, 4 um, 7 segment displays and still run it all off. Um, two input lines, a clock, and a data. This is not multiplex. This is direct output. I can see lots of uses for this device. And so we'll, let's take a look at the code that Arduino uses and how this device actually operates. Illustrated here is your pinout on the MM5451. It is a 40 pin dip device. Uh, of in which 35 of the pins are outputs. Pin 21 is your serial clock, pin 22 is your serial data, and pin 19 is your brightness control. The nice part about this, as I probably mentioned, is you don't need any segment current limiting resistors for your LED displays or for your LEDs. This is the internal block diagram. Again, it consists of a shift register, latches, and output buffers. Um, it also connected over to VCC is a 100K pot uh, that controls your brightness. On the 5451, pin 23 is not a data enable. It's simply output 35. And there's your serial data connection and your clock connection. Here is the uh, connection as I had it to Arduino. Um, I would, whatever pins I chose in the Arduino would go to clock. Whatever one I chose would go to data. Here is my 100K um, intensity control. And you got to have this bypass capacitor. The spec sheet said a 0 .001. I used a 0 .1 and it worked fine. Here are the connections for the eight LEDs. All the anodes just tie together, go back to five volts, and the cathodes go to whatever pins it was specified on there for bits. Um, for bits, let's see, nine through sixteen. Here is the connections again. This is an LN. 516YA, that means yellow common anode LED display. This is numbered down here for uh, bits 1 through 8, not the pin numbers on the chip. This would have been something like 18, 17, 16, uh, 15, 14, so forth. But that's how you connect the uh, bits. That is the truth table that I'm going to show you that's coming up that will illustrate that. All right, here's just a brief look at the Arduino code that is used in this project. First illustrated is uh, my segment seven segment LED display. It also has a decimal point, of course. Um, this is the binary code that you'll find on the web page. I've defined digital pin 8 as my clock and digital pin 9 as my data bit. 
based on the display code that I developed above, here is a table for the segment code to my uh, LED display when I use, of course, on whatever number I use, 0 through 9 index, I will shift out the appropriate related code. Setup, no big deal. Both are going to be outputs. Both outputs are going to be output, and I'm going to initialize them to 0. Let's look now at loop. Okay. Um, I'm using a for loop. Um, integer my count, I'm initializing at 0. I'm going to count to 255, and in each iteration, I'm going to increment my count. All right, how do we start this? First of all, I'm going to have to do a set um, data bit, which was pin, whatever pin I designated above, I believe, 8 to 1, and then I'm going to have to pulse the clock pin. That's nothing but this little subroutine right here that just simply takes the clock pin high and then back to zero. That tells the device the next 36 bits coming are going to be my data, of which only 35 are going to be used. The 36 bit will latch the data onto the outputs. Okay, now we come down here. I'm going to use a subroutine I'll show you below called SSR write least significant bit. And I'm going to take the as an index for my array segment code, I'm going to use my count mod 10. Now why did I do that? Because that's going to give me a count from 0 to 9 always from 0 to 255. Any number that's modded with 10 can only be 0 to 9. Okay. The second, now I'm going to use SSR right MSB or most significant, most significant bit with my count. And that's the uh, eight LEDs you saw counting in binary. Why did I use two different routines? Well, I'll sh show you down there in a minute the difference between LSB and MSB. Now, I used eight bits here with the LED display. I used eight bits now with the uh, eight LEDs, that's 16. I need 35. And so I'm going to use a routine called zero right to 21. Well, um, the reason this has to be done is, mm, is because I have to uh, have a total of 35 plus one bits after the start bit to latch the data out. And so whatever's left, uh, the remaining 20 or 20 bits, or actually, yeah, remaining 20 bits or so, I had to output all zeros. Let's go down here and take a look at that. That's down here. That's all the uh, zero write consists of is just a for loop, more or less. It's just a for loop to pulse the clock. That's all it does. The SSR write least significant bit differs only from the other one in that um, I'll take the value that is sent to it, which is a byte, and I'm going to AND it with uh, 0, 1, and the result is either going to be 1 or 0. So if it's a 1, I'm going to set the data bit high. Else, I'm going to set the data bit zero. I'm going to clock the data bit in. Then I'm going to shift one place right, and I'm going to do this um, eight times, zero through seven. Let's move on down. And this is not there. Is not that's a little typo. We'll leave that. This is MSB. This differs only in the above one in that I'm bitwise anding with 0x80 
and I'm checking to see if it's 0x80 or 0. If it's 80 hex, I'm going to set the bit. If it's 0, I'm going to clear the data bit. Then I'm going to clock it. This time, I'm going to shift one bit left. Okay, and I'm going to do this eight times before I exit. And like I said, once I do those two, whatever bits I need to, to make it up to 35, I have to use zero right. That's it. And that's how I was doing all of those, those se that seven segment display and those LEDs. In fact, I could have tacked on another 19 or 18 or 19 LEDs and counting with them if I wanted to. Really neat. So it's super simple. You don't have to deal with multiplexing code. It's straightforward. Uh, you might want to buy that device. It's available from DigiKey. So I hope this gave you some ideas for, the, uh, for your own uses. Thanks for watching.